and a very warm welcome back to the studio here at Gordon Bennett 2019. I'm Air Sports presenter Regan Tetlow and I'm joined in the studio by Benoit Pellar, the Deputy Director of this event. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you here at the Aerodrome du Pierre de Montbéliard. What is that, <laughs> King? You mean Montbéliard? Wait, wait, is that what I said, no? Yeah, yeah, well, maybe a uh, good guess. No, it's Montbéliard. Uh, Montbéliard. Montbéliard. How's your day going? The day is wonderful. We've got a wonderful weather. It's a totally perfect condition for uh, inflating the balloons. We've got a slight breeze and uh, we had a couple of little incidents so far, but uh, we should be okay. Normally, you've competed, what, 10 Gordon Bennett's? Have you been one? Uh, let me think about... Oh, yeah, 10, you're right. Uh, he just told me two minutes ago. <laughs> 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 How is it to be on the organisation side instead of competing? Um, I find it extremely frustrating. Uh, you know, the weather wouldn't be too good. The weather would be storming. So oh, good luck to them because they are, I wouldn't fly where they are going to go. But the, the weather looks so perfect the forecast looked really fantastic for the last for next two days and i really envy the bastards oh i shouldn't <laughs> have said the bastards. <laughs> see you next time no but <laughs> it is perfect conditions let's have a look at the screen behind us we got a live live feed there from the uh, inflation how many how many have we got up so far i think we've got about 10 balloons so far up and we've got the two netted balloons which are almost filled uh it's a bit slower than we expected we had uh, one problem with one uh, balloon over there that unfortunately it was second balloon to be inflated and it they ripped their envelope there was a bit of a technical uh, mistake and they expected a balloon to be uh, sent from germany what time do you think that will arrive that's for the spanish team isn't it for the spanish team yes uh, they're hoping to be here at six and i hope it won't be later because otherwise we might have a problem but uh, let's keep our finger crossed uh, there'll be uh, a bit of getting plenty of spilling fines uh, coming on the way but that's a problem spilling vines of the hydrogen you can keep in touch with us now on the live stream type of message i've got a feed down here i can have a look if and what you're saying talking of the inflation let's have a look at the inflation of uh, team australia with their brand new canopy earlier on today yeah that's the one there we uh, watched it being inflated let's have a look here we go talk us through this okay so you see uh, the balloon, you got people who were there on the top of the balloon to put weight on the balloons while we're inflating a bit of uh, hydrogen in it. And you got to wait uh, for the balloon to be filled uh, as much as possible. So when the balloon left, the gas would go up and the parachute will keep closed. If there is not enough gas and if you got a bit of wind, which happened uh, later with the Belgian balloon, the balloon went that way and unfortunately uh, the the balloon collapsed. Uh, What's your limits? What's the uh, wind limits for inflation? The wind limit for inflation for this sort of balloons is about uh, seven to eight knots. Um, while you are inflating at this, you know, the, this is a very critical uh, stage. If there was more wind, the danger would be for the balloon to go too, uh, too much an angle and the parachute to go down. But um, once it's up, uh, 10, 15 knots, no problem. And this is actually a brand new one that Team Australia has. This is a brand new balloon that uh, came out uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago from the factory in Germany. What kind of value, what kind of cost are we looking at for a brand new one? For a brand new balloon like this, it's about 50,000 euros. Wow. It's a Certainly, uh, it's certainly an item. Just, just for the envelope, sorry. I'm talking about the envelope and then you've got the basket and all the equipment. The, the envelope uh, by itself is about 50,000 euros. Yeah, well, Team Australia with their brand new system ready to be flown. They actually finished their inflation now and they are getting ready for the launch. What's going on in the minds of the pilots after the inflation? What, what happens then, Benoit? Um... Actually, after the inflation, um, the stress the stress of inflation is gone because it's always a stress uh, to say to make sure that the balloon uh, uh, is okay. That you might find uh, some damage at the last minute, and after that, uh, you are only uh, 
rearing to go and you are waiting and uh, it's so slow and all you want now is to for the balloon to go and the launch to start so you are in the air yeah. well we had a chat with germany one uh, before their inflation and with their brand new basket let's have a listen to just what they were saying and a warm welcome back. I'm here with Team Germany One. Let's have a cheer! Yeah! Andreas and Axel, isn't it? Yeah, I'm Andreas. Yeah, yeah Axel. Oh, it's a beautiful day. People are saying it's too hot right now. Is it going to be too hot today? Is it going to affect the balloons? No, it's, it's quite good. Uh, better than rain, I think. I think so, yeah. This is a positive uh, yeah. thing on it. We don't want to be people saying it's too hot. I don't know why they're saying that. Inflation time! Tell us all about it. What's happening? Yeah, we, we are waiting for inflation and then we look and uh, yeah, we always can wait. We have time enough. Do you know when uh, is your period? Do, have they give you a time yet? No, we don't know. I, don't, I think in one and a half hour, I think we can get the hydrogen. Yes. How long does it take each inflation? Um, I think 40 minutes. It's uh, getting very quick when the trailer is full and at the end it, uh, the hydrogen flows a little bit uh, slower. Yeah, I feel like that sometimes, to be honest. The later on in life I get, I flow a little bit slower. <laughs> in my yeah. 20s, I was a lot faster. Yes, all right. <laughs> so, um, behind us, the news is, I think, have you got a brand new basket? Yes, um, a colleague built it for us, and it's uh, very light, the basket. Should we have a look at it? Yes, go. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Dominic, our superb camera team here, taking us around. I'll go around this side. Let's have a look. But without the wood. Without this. Uh, You're not taking the wood? Protect. No, no, not, no, no. <laughs> Are you all right there? Well, let's have a look inside. So tell, talk us through it a little bit. Yes, it's a very light uh, floor. On, it's only uh, six here. This, this audit, and it's uh, the carbon. It's a mixed uh, material, and uh, very, very uh, thin. Now you see it. This is all. It's also the floor, on the ground. So this material. So we, we've uh, moved away from the traditional wicker, the wicker basket. Yes, we have also a light uh, traditional basket, but this one is um, it's not it's uh, it's lighter than the old one, but and it's uh, very it's a little bit great, great uh, bigger than the old one, and uh, one person can sleep over there with the TLX on the the left side, and the other can sit here in the night. And we have a lot of uh, room for us. So you open the side, that's where your legs go out? Yes, good enough. On the ground, there's, uh, the, the legs come out of the basket. You get this out. And then the other one can stay here on the, on the f uh, bank. Yeah. bank. Bank. Wow, how, how, long did it take, how long did it take to um, put it together? Yeah. Well, it uh, takes four, four months, I four think. Months and a lot of hundreds of working hours from a private person from our club. A lot of hundreds of euros as well? Uh, it's not enough. <laughs> a thousand of euros. Well, Only fantastic. the material. Only the material. It's and what about your actual balloon? Do you call this the uh, the canopy or do you call it the envelope? The envelope, yes. That's the envelope. And how long have you had this? Well, I don't know what you mean. How, have you owned this for, for your how old? Uh, it's about seven uh, years old and have uh, 80 flights, the envelope, with about 800 hours in these 80 flights. So what, uh, what are you thinking about tonight? Now we're getting a bit of breeze coming through. We said in the meeting earlier we might get some breeze now, 10 or 12 knots, but then dying away for launch for 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's it's a thermal, uh, it's a sun that gets the thermal and it goes a little bit uh, um, more wind it's a it's a afternoon and it's a evening it will get calm for the start. can you talk me through the inflation to show us what we have here and just tell me the operation how it all, all works okay the trailer uh, comes with the, with the hydrogen here and then we fill the envelope first for maybe 20 percent and then the envelope goes high and then we fill 200 persons do we have a look at the attachment? Can we see, uh, can you talk us through the valve, how this all operates? Just come this side of you, if you can, and uh, just come down here so we can have a look at what's going on. Tell me how this all operates. It's uh, 
only to fill the balloon and if the balloon is, is uh, comes up and is full we take here this, this open this this uh, we this one yeah. and then it gets goes open and uh, yeah the, the filling tube <laughs> gets down and the filling tube gets down and you get it with this rope you can hold it let it slow down and then the envelope you see there's a fill, filling tube is already in and then it comes down yeah. and they let it in with the balloon lots a lot of a little bit gas so you can fill it uh, it's the evening so once the once the hydrogen's up there it's not coming back down again no 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 we, we hope so don't we we hope so has there been any issues already today or is everything under control yeah the spanish team uh, the envelope gets when it gets high it crashes it, it gets damaged totally and then now they organize a new balloon in in one in a few hours if they have luck they get another balloon and can fill already wow where will it come from do you have any idea uh, come with us and we can show you okay let's have a look let's go dominic so that's the news i'd heard a whisper of that but i didn't want to break it i'm glad those guys did it with spanish team have had a problem with theirs this is, this is a starting uh, help and you get your sandbags to let get it down and you fill only the the uh, as 60 percent of the and an, an down envelope yeah. and when you get it open the spanish team it gets wrong and the envelope <laughs> totally crash wow that's yeah. that must have been horrific horrific for them it's, it's good yeah. news that they got one on its way yeah but they, we, I say they organize the other balloon and uh, when it hap when it gets uh, good and then can already fly tonight to this evening. Just as an idea, just to give us an idea of how the process works, the balloon now inflated left to its own devices, just staying here. How long would it take for it to just lose naturally its hydrogen and to fall to the ground? What kind of time scale are we looking at? When you open the, the envelope, uh, what? So, so when, when we now, if we just stopped yeah. and left it there, how many days would it still be standing? How long would it take for it to just naturally come down? You can say that uh, more, many days, many days it would stand in the air when the envelope is 100% um, yeah, dicht, what's that? Tight, tight, yes. Tight, yes. 100% tight the envelope, then it stands many days at the ground. We are, we are already three or four days in the air. And then we lost, when we fly, we lost a little bit hydrogen. When you go high, you lost hydrogen. Yes. And the, over the filling tube. Yeah. Yeah, it must be open when you get high. And when you get down, the envelope is not full. It's already uh, so, so, um, oxygen, oxygen in, the, in the envelope. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen in the envelope. Germany, very strong in gas ballooning. I think you've probably got more than any other country in the, actually in existence, yes? Yeah. Yes, yes. I think, yeah, Germany is the gas balloon nation number one. Um, and so we make the most flights and I think, uh, so we are a little bit profies. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, have you competed together before you go to bed it? Yeah, in Germany we have to uh, make every year qualification and so um, we have much long flights. This year we make one flight to Finland and one flight um, over uh, 63 hours. What a... Yeah, you, you, you some Gordon Bennett before? Yeah. yeah, a little Gordon Bennett. It's a national Gordon Bennett, but we're only alone in the air, not with 20 other balloons or 19. And uh, I, I'm very proud to be in the competition here at Gordon Bennett. It's very, we are very impressed and uh, yeah, we'll get fine. The weather is good the next three days. So it's uh, totally perfect. Are you going to tell us, are you going to tell us which way you're going? Uh, up. Ah, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> then we, I, I think we will have this year, not the bit uh, different direction as last year. Also, I think the most balloons get will get in one direction, but when that is uh, it's a secret. Yeah, last year we had it was a three-way split, wasn't it? There was yeah. down towards the west, there was north, east, back up again towards Kaliningrad, but then there was an option to come down as well towards Italy last year. That's what we had. Yeah, it's one option, but I think um, it will be a, a very long Gordon Bennett race this year. 
long long flight. I think uh, most of the teams are uh, 50 hours and more in the air. Well, we've got the record by your good German friend of 92 hours. Uh, it's on the cards. It's possible. Uh, we will see. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. The record is, I think, 25 yeah. years old and time to broke yeah, the, yeah. the record from Willy. Okay, well, guys, you've heard it. The young blood <laughs> is out on the streets, up into the sky. Is it on for this year? That 92 hours, is it going to fall? Well, we'll, we'll see later. Guys, Germany won. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And join us more later here on Gordon Bennett TV. Germany won there with their brand new basket. I was surprised that it took me by surprise that it wasn't a wicker basket. No, they got a brand new, that's a uh, new fashion to a very light uh, basket. But I must say, it uh, makes me laugh because uh, they can wait a bit of weight themselves before <laughs> going to a lighter basket. But um, I sort of disapprove this new um, new trend of new basket because the, the wicker basket, when you've got a really, very hard landing, it's wonderful how elastic it can be and really absorbs the shock and uh, it's strong and it's safe. But if you do a bad landing or if you do a, a rough landing like the French people did uh, in Sicily two years ago or four years ago uh, with 30 winds, 30 knots wind, uh, they will get smashed and uh, God knows what will happen to them. 30 knots, that's going to be a fast landing, isn't it? Uh, it, it was. We, we, there was pictures. Uh, they showed another video. They showed the video again last week. It was very fast landing. And um, that's the uh, beauty of the Golden Bennett. You know, when you start, it's fantastic weather there. Yeah. But uh, then if you land uh, in the middle of the day, uh, during the convection, uh, you can have very fast uh, wind and very, very dangerous conditions sometimes. All right, well, let's have a look at the field. Let's see what's happening down there. Let's catch up with the field, see what's going on. What can we, what can we see? So you've got a tomato here. That's a brand new Cameron balloon with the Luxembourg team. That's the first time. That's the very first time that Luxembourg is uh, taking part in the, in the race. Uh, this, is all, this is the Australian, we've already seen it. Uh, then you got the American, no, the Belgian balloon, the American balloon. Uh, we've got about uh, 11 balloon field. The two French native balloons are very, very slow and they're holding on a bit, the, the other ones. But uh, they're very careful and very cautious. But they should be finished in about uh, 20 minutes. And I would say by uh, five o'clock, everybody will be uh, will be up. So a few more to go. We caught up with last year's winners from the Gordon Bennett over in Bern, Poland won. Let's have a look at what they were saying to us early on, just before lunch. Dzień dobry, jak zmasz? I'm here with the winners from last year, Poland won. Let's hear it! Yay! Yay! <laughs> well. Matthias, the first question yeah. is, where's Jacek? Yeah, Jacek is in the basket. Oh, let's have a look, let's have a look, quick look. He's busy, he's busy. Let's have a look. There he is. Hello. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. I'm preparing balloon for flights. Yes. <laughs> preparing instruments, electronics, accus and everything else. We'll let you carry on back to work there. He's a busy man right now. Matthias, inflation, when was yours? Were you first or second or third? I think we were first actually and it all went very smooth. I'm, I'm really glad because it's always a bit nervous uh, if everything's going to be alright. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's perfect. Jacek is preparing all the electri electronics and yeah, we're uh, almost ready. So what is the procedure now? You're, you're inflated, the electronics are happening. What happens next? Uh, well, uh, I think the next we're gonna have to work a bit on our strategy. So we we'll have to make some calls to the meteor team, you know, that's that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, I think with this time we'll actually be able to get some sleep before we take off, which is uh, amazing because then we won't be able to sleep as much. And uh, yeah, that's it. The crew will uh, stay here. They will uh, keep an eye on the balloon so nothing bad happens and uh, yeah. It's a good point. You do need to be well rested before you get in there and set off on this massive adventure. It could be four, it could be five days and it's potential for that. So you do need to take your relaxation time before tonight. Uh, well, it's, <coughs> it's really difficult to do, but today we're, we're the lucky guys. 
Uh, but yeah, you have to get as much sleep as you can because in the basket over 60 hours or 70 hours or 80 hours you'll get most likely not more than 5 or 6 hours of sleep, which is not really well resting because you're sometimes very cold or very stressed, so you know. And what about just behind you there, Paul and two? Are you good friends? Do you have a good time together or do you keep separate? Uh, no, we're, we're the best friends uh, uh, in the mm, whole Europe, uh, but we're staying separate. Uh, yeah, I think they're almost ready for their preparations uh, as, uh, as well, so yeah. A little bit of breeze coming through now, as we, uh, we did predict. Next year, Gordon Minute 64 in Poland. Yep, it's in Poland. We uh, most likely Wrocław, but uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. Okay, well, I've been working on my Polish a little bit. Let's let's test my Polish. So, dzień dobry. Uh, dzień dobry. Spoko. Spoko. Is this good? Good pronunciation? Yeah, and I was told, if it is Wrocław, I was told I've got one of the best pronunciations of any English. Wrocław. Wrocław. Yeah, it's very good, actually. I practiced hard for that. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, listen, have a great afternoon. I hope you get some rest. Have a great flight tonight and we wish you all the very best, Matthias. Team Poland won. Yeah, thank you. Last year's winners, Poland won there. On the live stream, a few messages coming through. Dirk Lesens says, lots of hot air balloon flights in Belgium this weekend, but when we are not flying, we will spend every minute following the Gordon Bennett on live stream. Well, thanks very much, Dirk, and make sure you share it out to everybody. Well, Benoit, we've just been talking about the the weight. Tell me what you you do, what you used to do to uh, prepare for a race. Okay, well, myself, I was at, problem with my weight because um, I'm tall and I'm a pretty pretty fat so the objective was always <laughs> well I, I, I like good food I like good wine and uh, I like pork pies English team would say <laughs> and um, the objective was always the goal was to gain at least a bag of sand so the bag of sand is 10 kilos wow. So I used to go on a very strict diet uh, the month before uh, the Golden Bennett to to gain this uh, this weight. And uh, one year I managed 15 kilos, which was very good. And uh, it's good for your um, for everything because um, your body is not used to have so much food, so you don't have to take so, so much food during the flight. But anyway, during the flight you are so focused that you you don't eat that much. It's uh, you are always focused on something. And uh, but uh, the weight has uh, uh, always been a problem. And uh, as 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 we say, it, uh, the goal, the, the measurement was always funny because it was that bag uh, bag of sand, one bag of sand. If the two pilots, if two pilots go on the diets, it's 20 kilos one. And that's uh, really good. That's incredible. I was going to try and make a bet then that I would make, I would lose 15 kilos for next year in Poland. Yes, I think uh, you. It won't. It might not show me that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benoit, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, especially with, you know you were showing me your book collection this morning. That was yeah, very nice. That's right. So what are you going to be doing after this interview? What what you going to be busy? I'm sure. Uh, yes, I've got to go to uh, to see the event director, and we've got uh, a couple of things to get sorted out before um, uh, the next briefing at uh, um, quarter past five. Uh, then I will check the trackers, and we will be working the live trackers to put them on the, bal on the balloons before the launch. Well, Benoit Pellard, deputy deputy director of the Gordon Bennett here in. Montbelliard. Montbelliard. That's what I said. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for joining no us. <laughs> we'll be back with our next live in the studio at 16.15 at quarter past four. And of course, we'll bring the whole launch for your live tonight at 1900. But we'll see you back here in the studio at 16.15. And don't forget to check out live.gordonbennett.aero where you can see all the tracking, you can see all the details and all the history as well. Benoit and me, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.